The day is today. Arsenal is hosting Liverpool and we are going to let you know how Arsenal did its last preparations for the game of Liverpool that is going to be played at the Emirates today. How many hours from now? Close to seven hours from now. That's when the game of football is going to be broadcasting live on different broadcasting channels all over the world. And we are here to bring you how Arsenal went ahead, obviously made make their last preparations and what Ateta had to say about this beautiful game of football and what the players of Arsenal are looking at this beautiful game of football. Smash the like button, comment and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Rock and David is my name. I hope you guys are really having a fantastic stay. Wherever you are, those that have just gone ahead to go to church, those that we went in early, may the living to God bless you abundantly. And for the Muslims, Barak Laufik home. And let's obviously get this running and rolling. Now, Arsenal and Liverpool are yet to, start to, tass to tassel it out today at the Emirates Stadium. We all know that it's going to be a huge one. If at all Arsenal win, they'll close down on Liverpool and there'll be two points behind Liverpool. If Arsenal lose to Liverpool, there'll be eight points behind Liverpool. And that means Liverpool have gone ahead to obviously put there an outstanding gap in between them. And this is the only chance Arsenal has to obviously claim its trophy of Liverpool because if you cannot beat Liverpool then you have no right to come out and claim for a trophy when you are playing against them. So let's see to 200 likes much in this video and let's also subscribe because you want to hit 20,000 subscribers before the end of this week and I know we are nearly there. We are nearly there. So guys, let's continue subscribing. Now, Ateta had the following to say on this beautiful game of football that's going to be played today at the end. He said, we need to do this play we need to what we need to do is play the way we played in the last two games against them and be more efficient in areas that are going to decide the game i'm very excited it's always great to prepare a game against liverpool how good they are they dominate every aspect of the game we play at home and what i sense is a real sense of positivity and enthusiasm around the place now Talking about being efficient, I believe that in the previous two games that Arsenal is going to hit to play, they drew at Anfield and lost in the FA Cup to Liverpool. They never collected maximum points out of those games because of their not being clinical and efficient in front of goal. That's what they had to do. You remember chances of Kai Havertz, Rhys Nelson, Bokayo Saka, Martin Odegaard. I think we even went ahead to hit a po um, the frame of the goal. So it is evident that what has been disturbing Arsenal is to kill off those chances. And if Arsenal can come in through and kill off their chances today, they can obviously get this team out of their way and really give them a beating that they will never, ever forget in life. Then he was asked, on Arsenal's F FA Cup game against Liverpool and if Arsenal were better in or were in a better place or and if Arsenal are in a better place now to really knock them out. He said, in terms of the team performance, very similar. Obviously, we had an opportunity to refresh and reconnect again when we went to Dubai and then we had a long period as well between the Palace and forest games and my feeling is that we continue to play really well obviously we are much more efficient in the final third and that's very helpful to win football matches so he's referring to the two games that Arsenal have gone ahead to play after that loss of liverpool in the fa cup 2-0 i think it was diaz and who and diego jota i think those two went ahead so it was an own goal coming in from Jakub kivio and then um Luis diaz went ahead obviously score into the dying minutes of the game so he has gonna hate to refer to their seven goals they've gonna hate to score in the previous two games and referring you to the first uh, question he really answered that i showed you at the beginning of the video that they lacked efficiency in front of goal to kill off these games and as it stands it's all about them being efficient having gonna hate to score seven in the previous games shows you that they can really get in more and more and more it's all about them scoring goals and if at all they can score goals they need to obviously or they will see themselves into the levels of really lifting this and taking it away to where they want to be and lastly before you go into the footage that happened at the london corner remember it's no longer the london corner by the way i was gonna have to get a new name I'm going to really get that name right. Um, 
Ateta on if a win against Liverpool would provide confidence and momentum. He said, yes, and we have done it. This season, we've beat 10 big teams already, and it's another opportunity to beat Liverpool now and be in much better place. We talk about momentum. We've won the last two games, and we want to win the third one, especially at home with our people. It's going to be an incredible atmosphere, and we're going to need that. So, I encourage everybody to do that, to play every single ball with us, and if we do that, we are going to have a chance to win the game. Now, talking about all the big teams that have gone ahead to play at Emirates, I think it's only Spurs that has gone ahead to obviously survive and really get away with it. But Manchester United, a team that I support, you know, never went away with it at the Emirates because Arsenal beat Man United by three goals to one. Declan, Declan Rice is late winner, followed by that Gabriel Jesus goal where he sat down Diego Dalo to make it 3-1. Then Arsenal went ahead to beat Man City by one goal to nil. That is it. Away from home, Arsenal is not going to have to do very well. They drew with Liverpool. They drew with Newcastle. They drew with uh, Chelsea. But at Emirates, it's only one team that is going to have to get points at the Emirates. In, or a point at the Emirates in the top five or six teams that we really believe make the traditional six of the Premier League. So, he's sending the same message to Liverpool that if you come in the league and these players really execute exactly what I'm telling them, they are going to really face it rough. And I really know exactly why I is saying that. They are going to really be having a very huge crowd behind them. And all they need is simple. Get in those chances and try to do the needful onto the night. Now let's go to the footage that really went ahead to happen at London Conley as Arsenal geared up for this game of Liverpool. Very important picture. <clears throat> Gabriel Jesus and Saka, these two players hold the hugest or the biggest mentality when it comes to obviously winning games and playing those positive mind games into the game to really get Liverpool going and Jesus is really one of those that is really on fire previous two games one goal and two assists those are three goal contributions in two games it's going to be very pivotal in today's game Zinchenko pointing on his head and is telling his fellow players that the mentality needs to be right if you have to obviously win against Liverpool then Gabriel Magalhães and William Saliba the pairing is really making wonders and remember the last Premier League game that Arsenal played at Anfield guess who put them ahead in the third minute it was Gabriel Magalhães and sometimes this is where I caution I caution the I caution the decision making of Mikel Arteta because you've gonna hate to take a lead at Anfield you know at three minutes what do you do you sometimes trick Liverpool you say in the next 10 minutes I would like to get the second goal but what, what am I gonna do let me invite pressure from Liverpool and just hit them on the break so I think that sometimes it needs to obviously be so much tactic changing in the game Odegaard and Kai Havertz obviously celebrating their achievement Ateta obviously demonstrating how the midfield passes should go to his players. He is a hands-on manager and that's why he's really very special and he can easily convince players to come in through and join him at the club of Arsenal. This is Nuan Neri, obviously showcasing his best. And when I look at these youngsters of Arsenal, I really believe that Ateta should be doing better. These likes of Nwaneri should be already into the first team, but I don't know why Nwaneri isn't part of the first team always. And I know sometimes they're going to hate to put him on the bench, but he doesn't even make it off the bench to come in through and really play. Because, like for the game of Crystal Palace, if you're having Nwaneri on the bench, when the game is like 3 nil, you can easily bring him on to play some 10 minutes. That is it. And I saw another youngster called Kamara yesterday when Man United was really beating the under-18s of Arsenal 4-2 to knock them out, I think in the Youth Cup of under-18. I saw another wonderful player. He goes by the names of Kamara. You know, he's a left attacking midfielder. If you look at his goal that he scored against Man United, he has good quality. And I know he's going to be one of those that is going to make it through. Kai Havertz having a chat with Mikel Ateta and Ateta was issuing him instructions on how he expects him to be playing and moving into the game of Liverpool that's going to be played today. Then Saka also was all in action and ready to really go hands-on with Liverpool. El Nini, fresh from the African Cup of Nations, knocked out by Diara Congo 
he's back into the training sessions and geared up for the game of Liverpool also. And this is Martin Odegaard, the captain, who knows exactly what it means, obviously, take it on to the levels of winning the league that they need to win this game of football because you need to put yourself in a position of really winning the league by winning your games against big teams such that other teams if at all they help you lose then it's a by the way but you should take the mantle and you should take what we call center stage in such games then Kai Havertz, obviously dribbling, dribble running with the ball. That is Kai Havertz for you. Rest Nelson and Wanneri tussling it out during that last preparation for the Liverpool game. Then we are having, uh, this is Martinelli, a player that I believe shouldn't start in the game of Liverpool. He should just come off the bench. And if I'm Mikel Ateta, this is what I do at the start of the game. Ateta looking on and really trying to do the needful in there. Then Declan Rice, Rice Baby, trying to obviously find a pivot of his squad in the last training sessions as he prepared against Liverpool. Then Gabriel Magales, Emily Smith Rowe. Every time I look at Emily Smith Rowe, I just pray to it that he really keeps himself fit. The only hugest hinge in his career at Arsenal have been injuries because his position is there. Even if he doesn't start, but I know he can average 30 minutes every game. And for him, he doesn't even need to play a full 90. You know, he just needs to get in those 30 minutes and he'll show you exactly what he has. In the game of uh, Nottingham Forest, Ateta gave him close to 60 minutes before he, took him, before he took him off the pitch and brought in Kai Havertz to do the job for the side of Arsenal. So, Gabriel Magales, tick. And Emily smith Rowe is pushing for a second consecutive start into the lineup of Arsenal. And I don't know if Ateta is going to do it, but I see Kai Havertz starting ahead of this guy. The goalkeeper, David Raya, just waiting for the summer transfer window to open up for Arsenal to make this deal permanent for £27 million. And that's exactly how, and that's, and that's exactly what shows his acts at Arsenal that are going to hate to obviously be appreciated by the manager of Arsenal. When you look at... Uh, the penner, the goalkeeping coach behind him, he loved him a lot. And Arsenal wanted to sign him in 2020, but they failed. Then this is uh, Benjamin White and Gabriel Magales seated on the balls as they watch on what other players were doing. Martin Odegaard also watching along what other players were doing onto the field of play. And this is Leandro Trossard, Rest Nelson trussing it out. And out at any start, Trossard ahead of Martinelli and I saw most of you went into the match preview and we went ahead to support my thoughts that Martinelli should come off the bench in a game like this and Trossard should obviously come in through and really start then take him off and get in a different kind of player all there in the names of Gabriel Martinelli then Kai Havertz and Eddie Inketia you know Kai Havertz and Eddie Inketia doing what they're supposed to do and it's, it all really went down well. Kai Havertz and Eddie Nketiah. Eddie Nketiah, I think he's playing his last season at Arsenal. And all what Arsenal need is to see it that he scores like 15 goals a season and they can fetch like 40, 50 million pounds from him because teams like, Chris, teams like, um, teams like uh, Brentford are looking in for striker. You know, a replacement of Ivan Tony because they know they cannot keep Ivan Tony. And if I told you are Arsenal, you can use this boy as a McWaite, you know, swap and add some 30 million pounds and get in Ivan Tony. So, West Ham is in need of a striker. You get um, which other team? There are like three, four teams that were interested, is even Crystal Palace. So, Brentford, Crystal Palace, and West Ham are interested in Edin Ketia. And I think Edin Ketia should really get to know that this is his last season at Arsenal because Arsenal need a much more better striker than him. Then, this is the winning team of the day. Res Nelson, Edin Ketia, um, this is Odegaard, Martinelli, Cedric Soares, who is also living in the summer, and Aaron Ramsdale, who is also living in the summer. That was the winning team of the last day of the training session. And you see them celebrating their win down there at the London Colony. So, guys, thank you very much for watching through. That's what I had for you here. But I would like to let you know that Arsenal is so much serious into this game of football. Yesterday night, they had a session at 
the Emirates Stadium has they really prepared for the side of Liverpool and they really want this win badly. They want it die and I don't know whether they are going to get it but I told you my prediction 2-1 win for the club of Arsenal and I know I'm really confident that Arsenal is going to get the win and Liverpool is going to walk away with zero points from the Emirates. But don't rule out Liverpool because they are really a good side. They can really turn around a game. But all what Arsenal need to do to win this game of football, it's what Ateta talked about in the first slide. I went, I went ahead obviously flash onto this screen that we've been watching of this video. Being efficient, that is it. The more efficient they are or they get, then they'll be really making it hard for Liverpool to walk away with three points. We sign out for now. See you later. The Muslims, Barak Laufikum, the Christians, we cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And may the living to God bless you abundantly. Rock and David remains my name. And I'm out for now. See you. I'm coming back with the Combined 11 in a space of one hour. Stay tuned.